I would buy this at Starbucks. <laughs> Hey guys, so today I'm coming at you from my kitchen as you can see and I've never filmed in like this part of the house before So it took me so long to just to figure out the lighting situation I have you guys like on this like glass cylinder thing and then I have my ring light behind me And so I hope this lighting is okay I'm super excited to make this video because we're gonna be recreating fall Starbucks drinks at home today I picked three drinks to make from the fall Starbucks menu and I picked the pumpkin cream cold brew, apple crisp macchiato, and pumpkin spice latte. So I've tried the pumpkin cream cold brew and the pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks this year, but I think the apple crisp macchiato is new and I still haven't tried it from Starbucks yet, but I've heard like really mixed reviews from other people. Some people are like, oh my gosh, I don't like pumpkin stuff, but I really love this like apple crisp macchiato. But other people are like, uh, I don't know, kind of tastes like hand sanitizer. I'm just like, which one is it? Let me just go through and tell you what ingredients I have. Yesterday, I went and bought this cold brew mix from Dunkin'. I know, like Starbucks drinks with Dunkin' coffee. What? But this was like the cheapest one I could find and the Starbucks ones were like 12 bucks. I was like, no thanks. So I just bought this Dunkin' cold brew. Here's this. I forgot to show you guys, but yesterday I put the cold brew and some water in this pot and stored it in the fridge overnight for about 12 hours. Next, we have this whipping cream. If you can see this. It just comes in a little carton. Pure vanilla extract. Okay, pumpkin pie spice. I also bought apple pie spice. This one wasn't required, but I thought it might be fun to just sprinkle on top of the whipped cream on the um, apple crisp macchiato, maybe. Don't know if I'm going to use it yet, but this one is like a necessity. We have the pure pumpkin puree, and this one was kind of like hard to find in the grocery store, but I thought it would be near like the canned good stuff, but it was actually like in the baking section. I don't know. I should have thought thought about it like why would this be in the canned goods but it's a can okay i have some apples for the apple crisp macchiato sugar i my mom stores sugars in salsa cans so here's our sugar and i have syrup just in case we need any kind of like extra sweetening stuff and whipped cream and last but not least, I have my frother. It's from Ikea. I literally bought it for like $1.50 and just figured out how to put the batteries in it yesterday. But look, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm going to be linking the recipes that I'm using in the description box below. I guess I'll start with the pumpkin cream cold brew. It says, raise your hand if you love Starbucks new pumpkin cream cold brew. Me. And also disclaimer, you probably already knew this, but I am no barista. <laughs> like I literally haven't made these kind of coffees before. The most I do if I don't go to Starbucks is literally my Keurig and it takes two minutes. So. If you're a beginner, this is a good video to watch because I'm gonna be doing it for the first time. Just make your iced coffee. We did that last night. Number two, make the pumpkin cold foam. It says one fourth cup of milk. I guess we also need milk. I just have this like 2% milk. Okay, so it says one fourth cup of milk, but I might just do one quarter milk and one quarter whipping cream because I think that might taste a little bit better. And I'm just gonna put some of this whipping cream. So next, we're gonna be putting in half teaspoon of maple syrup. Okay, so because I put a little bit more of the whipping cream, I'm just gonna do a little bit more of the maple syrup. Okay, next, it says a half teaspoon of pumpkin puree. I'm so excited for this pumpkin drink. Imagine me like not even having to go back to Starbucks anymore because I can just make it at home. Here is what it looks like. It smells really good actually. Half teaspoon, add it in. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Then they said half teaspoon of vanilla extract. 
I really should have opened everything before I started. I need like a brief intermission. I'm back. I finally unpeeled the top of this. Of half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract and one fourth teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. I just realized that you can take these off of the little hook and that just makes life a lot easier since I can just like work off one spoon instead of having to like have everything dangle off like keys. You can tell how much I bake around here. Pumpkin pie spice. Okay, it also says pinch of salt, but I'm just gonna skip the salt because I kind of don't like when my cold film is a little bit salty. I just rather have it sweet, so. So now I have all the ingredients and I'm just gonna be mixing with a spoon. I had all the ingredients in the um, measuring cup, but I might just pour it into here now since I have to use the... Now I'm gonna be using the little frother that I have to froth this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Keep it in the bowl, everyone. Alright, they said do it until you have like whipped cream consistency. And I think it's getting there, but not quite yet. Okay, by the way, if you don't have a frother, they said like you can use a mixer, blender, or even like put it in a mason jar and just shake it up so you can get to this like whipped cream consistency. I don't think the frother is like 100% necessary. All right, I'm gonna stop it and try. It's good, but I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of the maple syrup because I'm not really tasting any of the sweetness. I'm gonna add one more tablespoon. Yeah, I'm just gonna continue mixing. All right, so I think I have the consistency that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the coffee ready. Okay, I have my ice. I just filled it like half cup. And now, I'm just gonna be pouring my cold brew. Okay. okay, see, okay. They said use a spoon to pour it in because you don't want it to like sink down all the way at first. Show Starbucks drinks. So this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh. Wait, why am I kind of impressed? This is like something you would buy at Starbucks. I would buy this at Starbucks. <laughs> now for the taste test. Oh my gosh, wait. That is so good. Wait, the foam is so good, guys. The coffee is a little bit stronger than I wanted it. Like, I guess I could have added more water to the coffee, but I kind of want to stir this and see. <gasps> wow. That's really good. All right, so the first coffee, I would give it an eight out of 10. Foam that I made was so freaking good. I would make that foam again. But I think it was a coffee that like I could have done better on, but it was my first time making cold brew, so I didn't really know how much water to put in. It did say four cups, so I did that, but I think it was like a little bit too strong for my taste. Okay, so the next one that we're gonna be making is the pumpkin spice latte. This seems more simple than the pumpkin cream cold foam. You literally just make warm pumpkin milk type thing and then you pour it over cold or hot coffee and you just stir. Start by heating the milk, pumpkin puree, sugar, pumpkin spice, and vanilla extract on the stove. Then mix the pumpkin spice milk with the strong coffee. And then add whipped cream and that's it. I have this little pot thing. Two cups of milk. Okay. Well, this I'm just making this for one person, so I might just do one cup of milk. Two tablespoons of pumpkin puree. Adding one and two. One to three tablespoons of sugar. I might just do like one. Do the rest with maple syrup. Just add one. one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Okay, one tablespoon of this is very big. Half teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Mm. 
gonna put this on the stove now. So I just put the thing on the stove and we're gonna wait to boil a little bit. It says, never mind, it says heat until hot but do not boil. Okay, I just took it off the stove. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, it's heated up. It didn't boil, so I think it was the right amount of time on there. And then it says whisk in. Um... Oh, I see, I see. Oops. Okay, apparently you were supposed to add the vanilla and pumpkin pie spice afterwards, but <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get the coffee ready so we can put it in. I have this coffee here that I have. This time I just filled it halfway because I want to add the um, hot milk part. So I read the directions wrong, but apparently you're supposed to put the coffee into the milk. So. I'm just going to be pouring this coffee into the milk and then they just get to stir. Alright, so this is what it looks like right now. I'm just going to be pouring it over ice. Alright, so just poured everything in so it looks like this. And now I'm just going to top it off with some whipped cream. Make sure you shake it up. Okay, now you put in the pumpkin spice on the top. So, um, breaking news, I didn't know I was going to come out a barista at the end of this video, but here I am. Look at this! This is so freaking cute! So this is the pumpkin spice latte. Alright, I got this straw. Oh my gosh, wait, let me mix in the whipped cream too, so I can get the full experience. Alright, so I think this one might be better than the cold brew. Tastes really, really good. Oh my gosh. Alright, but I would say like this one doesn't really compare to the Starbucks one that much. They're both really good, but they just don't taste the same, is what I'm trying to say. I really like this one. And it was like really easy. You just heat everything up on the stove and then pour your coffee in there. And then if you want it iced, pour it over some ice. If you want it hot, just drink it hot um, after you put it on the stove. But I think for the presentation, this one was very cute. Like it had the whipped cream and you can put the um, pumpkin pie spice on top. I'll give this one a 9 out of 10. So I'm going to clean everything one last time and then we're going to jump right into our last drink which is the apple crisp macchiato. Alright, not going to lie, I'm kind of scared for this one. The recipes look kind of hard. Like you have to chop up the apples and like boil it and like, I don't know, it just looks not, not hard but like more involved than the last two. So it says place sliced apple into medium saucepan and top them with brown sugar, apple juice, vanilla, water, and cinnamon. So I'm going to go ahead and chop this apple. So I just finished cutting up my apples. They're not the perfect slices, but I, yeah, did my best. Brown sugar, apple juice, vanilla, water, and cinnamon. So I bought this Mott's 100% juice as my apple juice. One fourth cup of apple juice. Third cup of water. Okay, got some water. And one fourth tablespoon of cinnamon. I'm just going to be eyeballing everything and then half tablespoon of vanilla and brown sugar. Then it says to simmer for 15 minutes. Okay, for the drizzle, you're going to need apple juice, brown sugar, and cinnamon. Do you hear that? What is happening? 
So it's currently boiling. I think you can see right there. Okay, and then they said to drain it into a cup. But I have this cute coffee mug here. And I'm just going to be draining it into here. So I just got like one fourth of a cup. So I'm going to throw away the rest of the apple. And then we have to go ahead and boil this too. Okay, so while I'm doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and put everything away just so I can keep everything organized. I was putting it on the stove for too long. It literally burned. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. Um, okay, yep. I might set this thing outside. It's just so it doesn't sit off a fire alarm in the house. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> what just, what literally happened? It smells like burnt apples in the house now. Literally, what just happened? I was just, you know, minding my own business, like cleaning or whatever, and then I was like, let me just check on the syrup. And it literally was black. I was like, wait, what? And then I opened it and it was like burning. Oh my gosh. They said to put it on low for 15 minutes, which was what I did. Not me almost burning down the house while making coffee, like. Now we're gonna finish off with the apple crisp macchiato. I have my um, ice and they said to add milk in it and espresso, but I'm just gonna do half milk, half cold brew. My half milk here. Here's this. Now I'm gonna be adding that um, syrup thing that we attempted on top this is the final product apple crisp macchiato and i am actually going to try to put the apple pie spice on top so it can have more of the apple flavoring okay and this is the final product here's what it looks like all right so let's try the apple crisp macchiato Okay, I can definitely taste the apple after I mix it in, but I am not a fan actually. I don't know, I haven't really tried the actual apple crisp macchiato from Starbucks, so maybe that's why I don't really know what it's supposed to taste like. Also, the thing that was supposed to go in kind of burned down, so I'm also missing that, and that could have made a big difference. For me, I would give this about 4 out of 10. It wasn't my cup of tea, cup of coffee. It looks really good though. See, the presentation is really nice, but the actual taste part of it, I don't really know. Not a big fan. But anyways, thank you guys for coming along with me in remaking the fall Starbucks drinks. Kind of want to also try it for like Christmas drinks or any other like seasonal drinks and see if I can recreate at home. Maybe by Christmas time, I'll have like perfected my barista skills, but for now, okay, I was doing pretty good for drinks one and two. I don't know what happened to the third one when the whole burning situation happened. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and put in the comments any other drinks you want me to try to make or um, Starbucks recommendations. I'm always down to try that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys for the next video. Peace. Time to check on the burn pot. Oh my God. Okay, yeah. It's literally black. 
You can't see in here. You know, let's just take a moment of silence for this Apple Crisp Macchiato syrup. Uh, yeah. 